All right, so this is part two of the cereal box. So I'm just gonna go quickly with uh, with unwrapping um, a few of these. So I'm just gonna go and uh, select the uh, face right there, sorry. Select the front one, press U, then project from view. And really quickly here, just kind of position that. Okay, and then control one, which is the back, select it. Press U, project from view, and position. You might think way, this is way too easy and whatnot. Well, it is because um, everything is kind of, we trace the, uh, the image, okay? So basically we did our job regarding preparing it, but when uh, there's some complex shapes that gets a little tricky with uh, unwrapping, so it's not always easy like this. Um, but you have to be kind of, smart about uh, your object you know whatever it's uh, whatever makes it a lot fa you know faster to kind of to do and whatnot so so this one uh, control 3 which is the left side uh, you project from view all right because you're thinking uh, probably what about the first one what's it a lot harder uh, it's more work Okay, I just want to show that to you that it can be done that way too because there's some other um, UV unwrapping where that's your only choice is to do smart UV and then kind of piece it, kind of splice it together. Um, you can get a little complex, okay? but you can just follow this method right here, especially for box type like this. It just works perfect. Okay, And if I press U right here, you probably see there's certain um, UV mapping that are specific for uh, primitive shape. So if it's cubic in shape, you use a cubic projection. If it's a cylindrical shape, spherical, you know, so on and so forth. So this one just project from view. It's perfect right there. I think that's, uh, yeah, I'm on the top. So I'm gonna grab this, that's for the top. Yeah, we go to the bottom. Control seven, press U, project from view. All right, that one's done also. Uh, let's hide that. And let's go to our model. Let's do just one more. Just, uh, oh, we've seen that one. Mr. T, of course. All right, we'll do Mr. T. Okay, so front, shift A. Oh, uh, make sure you're in object mode. I'm in edit mode, okay? You can kind of tell sometimes when you use shift A, you have limited selection. That means you're probably in edit mode. And when you do that, it becomes part of the previous selection, so it, it, they'll be combined. You can separate them, but it's work. All right, it's extra work. Shift A, mesh cube. We're gonna grab Mr. T, a serial, and then kind of just position that in there. Okay. We can scale Mr. T to kind of match uh, instead of you know. Instead of you uh, scaling your cube, that can also work. And we're just looking for the width right here. There you go. Okay. And now I'm going to switch to the cube. Press G. A little bit lower. All right. So. And. Um, thickness for the side so we don't need to see mr t right now so i'm gonna hide mr t this is the side so i'm guessing around there okay we go to our shading we give it a new one not metallic rough okay we're gonna drag the uh mr t serial plug it to the base color blender doesn't know how to apply it we go to uv editing where we go to uv edit uh, let's just good practice apply the scale all right and we go to the front go to edit mode go to face mode select the front press u project from view press g to move and position all right and we're going to scale to fit this one All right, I guess our model wasn't exactly the same, so I have to 
we're doing a little bit more work on Mr. T, but that's cool. Control 1, select the back, press U, project from view. Okay, and then we're going to grab it here. This kind of scale. That should be good enough. All right, select the top, press U, project from view, G to grab, where's our top? I guess this one right here. Oh yeah, because it's um, there's actually the opening right there, so. All right, there it is. We just need to make it a little bit wider. Okay, good enough. It's control seven for the bottom. Press U, project from view, press G, let's go right here, make it wide. All right, and just kind of eyeball that one. There's black right there, but that's fine. It's, if you're working for a client, of course, uh, you might want to consider uh, having a perfect uh, uh, texture, which we'll actually demo next. So project from view. Okay, and press G. Keep in mind too, what's happening here is that we are unwrapping and texturing from an existing texture, okay, pre-made one. So what if this is something that uh, you need to make it um, from scratch? Well, that's kind of easy enough. Uh, you have all these textures here, then you can just put them in Photoshop and um, and just I mean, you already have the dimension and you basically put it in there, right? So, but uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, we'll do it after this one. Like uh, the other way of uh, texturing, okay? So first you're using pre-made textures and then we're going to use custom, okay? Where you create your texture based on your UV unwrap, okay? So this one is we are UV unwrapping it based on our texture. So what if it's the other way around? you create a texture based on your UV layout. All right, so there's our Mr. T. All right, so we are, I think we should be done. So for uh, this homework right here, you need to, uh, let's show all the serial tree. Uh, we're just gonna go. And then we have another one, serial four. All right, so uh, I'm going to select all my empties. I don't need them. I'm just going to delete them, clean it up, and then bring those. All right, so we got all those. So I'm going to go back to modeling here. And let's go to our preview. And we have quite a few of these. And we're trying to kind of position them in such a way so that they're, uh, you know, we get, uh, we get different kind of presentation. So I'm going to go to the top here, go object mode. Okay, and then let me get rid of that one. I'm going to click on the select tool. So I'm just going to... Okay, we got four. All right, so that's good enough. Uh, I'm going to go to the number one right here. Uh, let's uh, bring some of this kind of sideways. Maybe this one. So I'm going to do a, a rotation on this. So that would be R, Z axis, and then um, 90 degrees. Okay, so we're showing the side. Then I'm going to go rotate again, press R. Uh, let me turn on my screencast. It wasn't on on this one. So R again to rotate, then just simply 90 degrees. It'll lay flat on the ground. All right, so what I'll do is I'm going to be using Mr. T's bottom right here as the bottom of the table or the floor. We're going to put Mandalorian right here. We're going to put Susanna right here. Okay. So we take a look at this from a 3D point of view. Okay. So let me grab Mr. T right here and then just driving a little bit. So I'm going to go to the top. So when we're at the top, uh, whatever you do here, there's no way it's going to go up and down because you're looking at it from the top. So I can easily rotate this kind of like so. And this one also okay just kind of put them here together nicely and we have one all right so and then we'll set up our camera like that and then we'll have our floor so on and so forth okay so let's 
prepare that. Um, first, we need the floor. So shift A, plane. Okay, scale the plane. It's going to be huge. Number one, right here. So I'm going to drag this so that none of that stuff is floating. Very important. And none of it, it's kind of sinking. So this one looks like it is sinking. So I'm going to make sure that, uh, well, let me see first. Mr. T first, then. Okay, and then Mr. T right there. And we can check later again to make sure once we have the light, it's a lot easier to spot. Okay, and uh, we're going to have the um, select the edge at the back. Press tab to go to edit mode number two for edge selection. Select this one. And we're going to press E to extrude it. I'm going to right click to cancel that. And I want to just go G to grab Z axis so that it can go up straight. We're going to select this edge right here. We're going to right click it to bevel the edge. So similar to the boom box. Okay, something like that. Go to the bevel property, increase the segments. I'm going to put 10. Tab to go object mode, right click, shade smooth. Go to the shader. Uh, we want this rough. We don't want it kind of shiny. We're probably going to use, uh, give it a color. What do we keep using for the class? Um, that one? Well, Mr. T, we got to contrast it. So I'll go with this one. Same thing with the boombox. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're going to need more side um, cyclorama here. So make that like so. Okay. Uh, let's uh, go to our view and view a lock camera to view. So when I press zero on the numpad, I can control my camera. Okay, uh, we can leave the camera kind of like that. So we see a little bit of the top. Okay, just kind of center them, kind of boring, but yeah, well, that will do. Now we go for our lighting. So we got to go to our render tab right here, which is reality. We'll leave that for now. It's kind of giving us a nice little backlighting. Okay, so let's uh, bring in the area lights. So I will um, change this to view, area, toggle to quad view. So I could keep that in there and then the rest here I can, I can work on my lights. Okay, so shift A here. I want a light, area light. So this area light here, I'm going to bring it up. And I'm going to make sure now that it has contact shadow. So when I duplicate it, I don't have to keep turning that on. Okay. Set the um, uh, wattage also. Let's go with a thousand watts. Okay. And then we can always lower that and then bring this up a bit. Kind of spread it. Uh, make it uh, even, even softer. All right. That's not so bad right there. Uh, we'll probably give it just a slight angle. Okay. And then bring it out a little bit. Okay, and um, probably make it uh, a lot bigger right there and probably going to put one more right here. So I will duplicate it. Okay, there's a duplicate right there. And this is the side. I will rotate it so it's pointing at the uh, serial box right there. Okay, and then here's the top. I'm going to rotate it so I get that angle move it a little bit here okay all right and then i need another one uh this one right here actually we're kind of using as a backlight we'll move it right there i'm going to grab the floor um the background i'm going to move it back a bit uh, so that we're away from the a little bit right there so this one i'm going to uh select this from the top shift d to duplicate it it's kind of oops sorry R rotate it all right that should take care of the uh, that one right there I'm probably going to uh, scale my uh, background here because my psych is it's just a little too small uh, maybe bring it a bit 
seeing the cut right there so we uh we'll just leave it like that for now because i gotta i don't want to put a light in there and it'll just kind of all right let's see um render render image all right that's not so bad it looks a little overwashed um uh let's take a look let's turn on our uh ambient pollution give it the the bloom is a little too much so we'll screen space that's probably gonna be good uh view uh render uh, let's give it a hundred it's the denoise it's kind of making everything kind of dull anyway on the details so let's go here and lower this one a little bit i'm gonna go 800 watts same thing with that one probably 700 watts okay let's take a look render render image okay uh, could do better on some the shadow but uh, let's see here if this one is really affecting it okay but let's take a look at that light and do we need it let's see I'm going to turn this thing on in my outliner. I'm going to turn on the camera for rendering to include in the render. So, let's let's see. All right. A little bit. Okay. But that's probably good enough. It's a little maybe too high on the because we want to show this thing at the bottom right here. Uh this is probably looking too boring flat like this. Uh, let's switch the camera. Okay, we probably need to move some of those lights back. Okay, to kind of... There we go. Let's take a look here. Let's see if rotating this by just a bit. Maybe. All right. That's probably good enough for now. I mean, I can keep tweaking the light. Okay, so that will be your homework uh, for week number three and then um, start separating separate ways right there. The 2D animation will go grease pencil, basic animation will start animating and then more modeling to the modeling people and the advanced ones, of course, they'll be doing something else. All right, so uh, make sure you click on image right here, save a copy, okay, PNG only or JPEG, that's it, PNG, PNG or JPEG. No other ones ex accepted uh, because of uh, Microsoft Teams, okay? Uh, and click, uh, I'm going to go 100% on that one, quality. All right, and then this is what you submit. All right, thank you guys for watching.